Hello guys, welcome again. We are back again to enlighten them. And as for today's tutorial, we'll be dealing on images. We are going to continue from where we start, but we're going to be dealing on mainly on images. And there are some things we're going to need to know. So if you're new here, better you subscribe to the channel and watch our previous video on HTML and CSS so that you not get lost on the way. Okay, for now for today's tutorial, we'll be using sublime text editor i want us to really use it because it's going to make work a little bit easier for us so if you have not yet downloaded it the link will be in the description description of the video so you are going to download it so you're going to know how to use it so and it's kind of make your work easier so without that let's start so i'm using sublime text editor 3 so and I'm going to work on a particular folder, so I'm going to open the folder. Then I want to work on this lesson folder, so I need to I need to look for it. Where the thing is, look for the lesson. Okay, open select folder. Okay, you see that's why I like Sublime Text. It's ready save folder. At least that way you can look at the files you're doing. It's almost a little bit like Microsoft code, but it's just for beginners, and the beginners can be able to use it. Their work will still be tidy and they'll know what to do. So, without talking too much, let's start. Let's get what we have today. So, first of all, we're going to open our file we worked on index.html. And since there are some things you need to know about images first remember I worked on image in our previous video we know how to import image to the image source code so why I also like this sublime text editor it's okay if I open a new a new page okay and save it as mm, let's save it as test okay test.html I'm not going to open any file so we have saved it as this so if I just type here h type on it it gets me the doc type everything and it's auto type so we don't need it we don't need it so we don't need it much in this tutorial so we're just going to delete it from here because it's not needed and let it be so let's go back to what we're doing so we saw everything about image source so before you import image there are some things you know before choosing images for your site you know that a picture can represent a thousand words so uh, and a great image helps make difference between an average looking site so an image should be relevant convey information convey the right mode so you know all about that about image for you to be doing image so we are going to get to storing images on your site so a, some big websites store their website meant to store it in a site so me i stored my images in my index files but a bigger websites store their own maybe they store maybe a logo in a different folder store background images in a different folder but for websites even all this blog blog has a different uh, content management system they have a way of storing it automatically post in in, in a particular folder so but just for this video we're just going to store everything in our index file as things go on maybe as we do more in this web designing i'm going to show you more about about what's um, about the folders so without say too much let's get into action so i thought you about show you guys about image that we add image to the image source so with the image source we can import particular image in our file index files slash we have tulips tulips.jpg so we'll save it we'll open our our browser we'll refresh it we'll go down you see tulips is now inserted right so adding image you can add it to the source code image and also we can also do more unique things in it like there's what we call the alt alt 
kind of things in case the, the website, the browser doesn't process the image or so the alt just gives it a heading on what what is meant to be there. Okay, like I'm meant to write a name type a yellow a yellow flower then if we save it we'll go here refresh it nothing changes but in a situation whereby i alter these tulips because there's no tulips to the pg i refresh and save it then go back to the browser refresh it it will show out a yellow flower which shows you that in case the browser does not process it it will show you how what is meant to have been there so let's delete the s and get back our picture so alt kind of represents it in case the thing doesn't process the picture for one to know that maybe there's under an error the problem is the browser or the code repeated in the user that typed it or actually from his data connection so another thing is what we call the title title is what um the, just like the name title is what defines the picture you can use title in different places title is just what if you hover on carrying your mouse on it shows you the name so i'm going to type a two leaves a two leaves a two leaves the two leaves flower i save it then if i who say refresh my page carry my mouse here it shows me a two leaves flower are progressing so the alt provides a text description of an image then title adds the title attribute to it so another thing we're going to go is now the height and width of image of picture we can either do it in an in internal or we'll do it in and we we'll either do it in line or remember what i told you in line like our previous or internal or external but for video tutorial we really mainly on inline so if you haven't gotten known to the inline i will still do a tutorial on all the tags just even break down css more so we are just trying to just make you guys understand or maybe in case you are just to run a single web page for me now you can be able to do it like with this thing so instead of me dwelling deep because time i know it's good to take things easy but sometimes in this life you have to be smart enough grab what you know and implement it and start making useful good of it so that's why we try our best to get the best out of someone so with it we can now make width let's use width see a sublime text auto complete it so i just type the enter so with six less is with 600 then we'll now make height a little bit of 450 then we'll to save it let's see what we have see okay the thing besides that image so i really, really like it because it crops the image in the form that is going to be wonderful or well, also the browser processing it and also the user seeing it on this page so which makes it a little bit fun if you get the hang of it so if well, we know which height this it specifies the height of the image so okay guys we are still working on our website so because the website we are going to also be showing you pdfs of every tutorial and also a test a test online practice so you guys the more you share the video the more you like and also support us on patreon and maybe generate funds and buy the website to make things a little bit we will be uploading videos there to make it easier and you'll be able to receive notification so we are still working on it in the database so you guys can support us on patreon the link will be in the description so let's continue what we are doing so now how to play you have to place your code image in your code so where to place your image in your code you can do that with the we can do it with the um either with the out just just placing your code so let's type in a random code okay with this one we have here we're going to now process some input on it so we have 
our height 7450 so let's we're going to change everything to a little bit smaller we're going to make it this 100 this 100 then with that we'll now just type in a random words so like flowers let's type in the the tulip the tulip flower is a very unique flower and it is yellow in color just we are going to type in a random color and it is very useful don't mind anything i go wrong i just want to get a particular random word very useful in beautifying your homes okay blah 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 mm -hmm. okay then let's close our tag then we will now use make use of the hr tag and what does the hr tag do can it underlines creates an underline so we're going to close to the hr tag one asks me one may ask me why didn't i know open the hr tag so that's how the HR tag works. You just close it. So you can either use another way without closing it, but I like using it like this. So we can now type in another image source. Just um, which other image we have? Index files slash lighthouse lighthouse dot jpg. Then we we'll now alt it to alt the lighthouse. The lighthouse also make title the lighthouse the lighthouse good then we'll now do the same thing paragraph the light house let's type let's make use of some rumor lighthouse is a lighthouse indeed lighthouse indeed It has light uh, as we can see and uh, it is a very unique unique building structure okay, that is good to man and his environment so none of these things I'm typing are true, just, just for us to understand what we're going through. Okay, let's save it. Then let's just put the last H arrow, then save it. Meant it to understand what we are doing. Then full fresh. Okay, we see the tulips is a yellow flower and it's yellow in color and it's used for beautifying your homes, blah blah. You see this one, the unique structure. And a flower uh, is B because we not define it in the width. So let's also make it the width. I'm still coming because you, might, you guys might have noticed color. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to correct it. Okay, the color is like this because in our previous style, we made use of the paragraph. So, but just um, the paragraph. So I just want to cancel it maybe by putting a random distance ID tulips then come here and do paragraph ID then lighthouse and let's save it let's see whether it's going to change it okay okay didn't change it but okay it didn't change this is not what i expected because the thing is still overriding it so 
right now okay we're going to now open our style sheet and um, okay i'm going to um, tulips i'm going to now define it here since the thing is now trying to make us look stupid tulips um, yeah hashtag tulips tulips then make it um style mm, okay first of all color changed so everything that was typed here background we can there's another way to change it but since you guys are not that level we are going to just let's leave one family font side and change text decoration text decoration none then do the same for our lighthouse lighthouse we're going to close it then do the same thing background color background color none then text decoration text decoration we have none also then save it yeah refresh refresh it's like the cage data is affecting it because the background color is not meant to show again so our cache is affecting it from right and so i corrected it okay well we can leave it like this that shall mix our work colorful so then we have gone that part we can also change how we put it in block style or we can align images horizontally so what do i mean by align image horizontally okay we can come here to the image and put align a line is trapped does used to indicate how other parts of a page should flow around an image so a line left no let me it's already left already let's align it right let's see how it's going to look like refresh it okay see so it's taking it was taken to the right so if we also do the same, let's take it this one to the left. Align left. Save it. Refresh. Okay, see how our work looks like. So it has aligned it. And our work looks mm. Mm, I'll not call it. It looks unique. Yes, it looks wonderful. <laughs> so we are we are getting what we want in a unique way. So which is at least a progress. We are progressing. Okay, we can also align images vertically. So we can align them to top, middle, bottom. So we are going to now use align, align top. Then this one to middle. I'm going to change it to middle. Then we'll save our work on S. Refresh. Align. Top. It's going, to, it's going to look normal because of the code. So, because it's normal, we now center it also. So, Mm, yes, which also tells me you can also center it. Align. Align. Align this one to center. Align center. Then if we refresh the code. Okay. It's not center it because of. Okay, a unique feature is missing. But no problem, we have what we got. So. So one thing we have to know about image is the format and save images at the correct resolution and the size. So 
if you mistake this one to JP PNG, you have GIF, GIF, your image will not come out. So we have image format JPEG, PNG, GIF, bitmap, different images, and crop image image resolution. So they have animated GIFs. So before we round off for today's tutorial, another thing we are going to now tell you, talk about is the figure capture. And what do I mean by fig figure and figure capture? Okay, we are just be working on these two images. As time goes, we we'll still show you more on styling. I mean, but for now, we are just expansion expansion team image. So we have typed in this document this code so, so we're going to now do something here to this one okay we're going to change it make it unique then we're going to name figure figure i'm not going to press enter because i've already typed in the code so i'm now going to go up here and it Mm, okay no okay wait guys okay wait let's not do like that let's bring in a new image on this one let's not tamper with this ones we've typed so with that i'm not going to use the figure tag enter then bring in a new image image source index files let's use a png a png image we have skeleton in my folder skeleton.png let's use a png image so we have png skeleton.png then we'll now alt it to alt skeleton skeleton then title skeleton hmm. then then okay I've done it so next we are now going to now do is we are going to break it with the BR tag mm, BR tag we have broken the line so we are going to use figure capture fig caption then type in some things hello I am a skeleton that that is inside your body and controls your movement okay we'll save it with that everything we'll now refresh our code okay, if we go down you see i am a skeleton if this thing was not shown well but you see that this figure caption it's like kind of this skeleton is all like it doesn't move it moves with the skeleton so just kind of it images of all come with like captures that introduce any figure elements contain their image so that the two will look associated so i'm going to give the definition of figure in the description so in case you may not understand what i'm saying the the description will tell you about it so thank you guys for watching stay tuned because we are going to be doing more work we have done tables we are progressing we have done other lists so before you know it will be true and start entering the database side so yes guys we are progressing so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more on enlightening them goodbye